Damn, son, where'd you find this? What you know about self-care? Step into my office. All right, much better. So, what you know about self-care? <laughs> Accept yourself. Love yourself. What is good, you guys? It's NWA here, Nurse Pat. Today we dropping some heat. Hola. Now, as nurses and nursing students, we work hard to focus on the grind. Stress and burnout is no joke when it comes to nursing, especially over these past few years. Hey, this man, ch hey, this man just, I don't wanna do this no more. Well, what can we do to prevent or at least slow it down? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of self-care and the different areas of nursing. Self-care is one of the most overlooked things that I see in nursing. Body and mind is just as important as your patients. I might even argue that it's more important. See, I care about you. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams. If you cannot physically or mentally function well enough to take care of your patients, then overall patient care declines and mistakes can happen. It's just a little trickling effect, Giggity. really. I see a lot of nurses being workaholics, picking up tons of overtime, extra shifts, or even having multiple jobs. It's just eat, sleep, and work. Rinse and repeat. By nature, we are humans, not robots that are supposed to have repetitive lifestyles every single day. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have a vacation frequently every single month or go out all the time and blow all your money. I know that money is important especially in today's Bruh. kaka economy. There's just so many things that you could do, big or little, that can have a therapeutic response to your well-being. Some of you may know by now that I'm a huge advocate for work-life balance. I recently had a weekend trip with some close friends, my girlfriend to the Redding and Shasta Lake area, and we had such a good time. And now I feel mentally prepared to be able to go to work tomorrow. I've had my fun, and now I'm ready to grind. If you remember psychology class, or at least I think it was psychology, there's four domains of well-being. You got your physical domain, you got your psychosocial domain, you have your cognitive domain, and you have your spiritual slash cultural domain. Or at least I think that's how it went. Anyways, a deficit in any of these domains can have a trickling effect on the other and have a negative impact. Where is your time for your friends, loved ones, family, you know, whoever you like to be around? And you can't tell me like, oh, I'm socializing with my coworkers, blah, 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 because you're at work. It's different. Having the time to de-stress is important. What are your hobbies and what do you enjoy doing? You know, you have sports, numerous outdoor activities like hiking, swimming, running, um, gaming, dancing, reading, you know, anything really. Even just hanging out with people you care about, being with good company. Wouldn't you say that your overall happiness and stress levels would improve with having more time for that? Even something that's small, like getting a massage or taking a, a nice little walk, walking your dog, you know, especially in like a nice park, listening on your headphones, earphones on, you know, with some music that you like. It, it's, it makes a difference. Like, it's such a small thing, but it makes a difference. Mentally, you'll feel less burnt out, I assure you. A healthy lifestyle is also very important for self-care. Diet, exercise, and adequate sleep will go a long way towards your well-being. Now, I don't really need to go in depth of the benefits of exercise with your mental well-being. Just know that you'll have better dopamine and serotonin levels to boost your mood. Good eating habits also contribute to better energy and numerous health benefits. Accompany that with adequate sleep and you'll feel amazing at work. You cannot tell me that if you're sleep deprived and out of shape, that you're not gonna feel crap at work and that you're gonna be more irritable and less sharp cognitively. Give me the I like fruit. Don't you like fruit? I like fruit. Break your motherfucking As for your work environment, it's important to choose a nursing role or especially that appeals to you. There's so many nursing areas to try. You don't only have to be a bedside nurse, especially if you hate it. Nurse. I got stomach ache. I yeah. too much. I got stomach ache. Right, right. Put my pants. And you just put my pants yeah. Oh, hell no. Do you smell it? Disgusting shit. There's a ton of non-bedside nursing jobs out there. You just gotta look. There's tons of videos, including my own. I'll probably put that at the top. Shameless plug. You already know the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, check out that video if, you know, bedside nursing is not for you. And only you could figure out what appeals to you. 
don't be afraid to try things out and take that leap into a different specialty or a different role. Another thing is if you have toxic coworkers or toxic management. Ah, uh, there's a little snake in the grass right there. This is terrible. And you know, if, if you've already gone through the steps to talk to that person one-on-one -on -one individually, they're still being toxic, condescending, you know, overall just making you feel like you don't wanna to go to work, maybe it's time to apply somewhere else. You don't need to be putting yourself in that position. Now, I'm not saying that nursing can be a stress-free environment, but things like self-care and the things that you can change about your work environment should not be overlooked. Optimizing these things will be better for you overall. If you have any other ideas or thoughts on the subject in general, please comment below. I really do appreciate when you guys comment below and you know starts up a little conversation as other people that reply to each other. It helps bring that sense of community in this YouTube channel. And that's like one of my ultimate goals of this channel. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, especially to support your boy. And as always, stay safe, stay humble. I'm out.